Hey guys, this is Tracy from the Cottage Crone and the Crafter Circle. And this is our first video, crafting video. And so I do want to apologize for the uh, maybe poor quality of the sound or the visuals. I'm still kind of experimenting on the appropriate lighting and, and appropriate um, workspace. So this is going to be done and dirty. Um, this is the quick and easy um, video on how to make a leather um, drawstring bag or pouch for storing, for example, let's say your crystals. Um, they make a great little gift to give away um, at a hand fasting, maybe as a little pouch to carry with you to carry some of your um, protective herbs, things of that nature. So um, just a heads up, um, this is leather, um, so it can also be done with uh, other types of fabric or other pliable materials. Now, this is a leather scrap that I actually um, found a bulk bunch of them, a five pound batch on Amazon of just leather scraps and they came in purple and black and blue and gray and they are in various pieces and various scrap sizes but um, quite a few of them were large enough to make our drawstring bag. So this right here is actually the finished product. Um, it is a little black bag. I was experimenting with sizes. Um, I embellished it with little red beads and um, also it has, I don't know if you can see it, but the little red eyelets. Um, I found these eyelets to be incredibly small. They were uh, scrapbooking ones and I'm not sure how well they really work. But what's nice is you can just simply untie the bag and it opens up into a little pouch. Um, I actually have Kleenex in mind to kind of maybe help keep and shape and stretch the leather, but um, see, you can see you can open it up and uh, put your little goodies inside and then when you're ready you can just simply pull it closed and tie it up and give it away. So um, I have already started the project for our class on the 7th. So here is a um, purple leather scrap that I was able to cut. Um, it is approximately six inches in, in diameter. And how I figured that out as far as shape is I actually just got a lid from a butter tub, placed it on my scrap of leather, took my pen, traced it, and then with incredibly sharp scissors, cut a circle. Now this is the inside of the bag and um, I also set eyelets as you can see here. Um, the way I've decided to place them was to just literally draw a diagram so I could place my eyelets appropriately and they were evenly spaced. Now eyelets can be kind of a tricky thing. Um, here is a bunch that I purchased. These are 3 16 um, uh, eyelets that I again got at oh gosh on Amazon for about four dollars so and I like that they came in a variety of colors now there's a number of ways that you can set the holes in your leather and that is I purchased um, this eyelet punch which also comes with a spot right here if you can see it where you can actually slide your leather in and punch a hole in your leather as it comes through the hole there. Then when you're done, you just set your eyelet through the hole in this little spot right there and you push. I will certainly set one so you can see how that works. Then once I have set all of my eyelets, then I had cut a piece of very thin about quarter inch leather thong or strap thong makes me think bad things but anyway so what you then can do is once you have threaded your bag you just simply gently draw it shut like so and there's your lovely little bag now you can also embellish it as you wish and I found this I save all my old jewelry and I found this from a pair of dangle earrings that I had that I just I love this piece and just held on to it for some strange reason so I thought it would be really nice to embellish it with this by threading some of the um, leather strap through like so now this is scrap 
leather and so it does have a tendency to kind of shed if you will so I don't know if you can see all the little kind of pink little crumbs all over my my desktop here but it's well worth it because this is just a cute little little um, gift to give and they've just really come out looking so cute so as you can see there <clears throat> and then I just tied my strap and let's do it one more time And there you go. And you have a lovely, lovely little bag, drawstring bag, that is custom made and full of love and full of treasures for the recipient. Now, to set the eyelets, I thought I'd just kind of give you a quick little demonstration here. Um, I also use my crocodile. Um, again, it too has these little spots right here that you can punch holes. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, and they're different sizes. So as you see, they punch and here I have an adjustable eyelet setter so these I these little heads rotate which makes it really nice so I'm going to grab one of my eyelets here set it aside I'm going to punch my hole let's see let's find a good spot right here we're going to punch I don't know if you can see punch a hole there's our hole. Don't know if you can see it very well. Do do do. Now, all you want to do next is simply lay your piece of leather over the eyelet like so. Then pick up both. Can you see that there? And then what we're gonna do is place it in our handy dandy little setter here. center it if you can see that and then simply squeeze oops I had it upside down my apologies squeeze again and there it is now the back edges can be a little kind of rough to the touch so I like to then just kind of go around and just kind of firmly push them down so there is your eyelet anyway so hopefully we'll see you in class and thanks guys for watching my video and hopefully soon we'll get a better software and also a YouTube channel take care merry meet and blessings to you